it is my pleasure to welcome our distinguished guests, faculty, parents, and family and friends, and graduates to the 61st commencement ceremony of Bellflower High School, and to the graduation of the class of 2012. My name is Joseph Perry. I consider it a great honor and privilege to be the principal of Bellflower High School. Graduation is a time when our seniors walk across the stage to be congratulated by our Board of Education and to be presented with a high school diploma signifying that they have successfully completed four years of high school study. Every graduate present here is deserving of high praise and recognition and I would like to congratulate each of them on reaching this milestone in life. During this recognition of each graduate's achievement, it is time to remember not only the hard work of their years in high school, but to pause and remember those who have made an impact upon their education and in their lives, their teachers who have challenged and inspired them, their counselors who have guided them throughout their high school years, their parents and family who have given their time and support, and their friends and classmates who have stood by them. As the years ahead unfold, may their examples inspire, guide, strengthen, and encourage each of our graduates to create a positive legacy for themselves and to have personal distinction in their future endeavors. Under the direction of Sergeant Medina, the United States Army will present the colors. At this time, I ask you to stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the singing of the National Anthem by the High School Ensemble, led by Ms. Carolyn Kelly. We ask that our male guests please remove their hats out of respect for our country's flag. Put your Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the Saint us that star-spangled banner yet wave O'er the land of the free And the home of the You may be seated. I would like to introduce Jasmine Camacho Acosta, Associated Student Body President, who will do the welcome, followed by Judith Lorraine Hernandez, Senior Class President, who will provide the Senior 
class reflections. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, parents, school board members, teachers, and administrators. My name is Jasmine Camacho, and I have been the Associated Student Body President this past year. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to present this group of seniors before you, the graduating class of 2012. This commencement ceremony celebrates our accomplishments and opens the door to our future. It is of the utmost importance to take a minute to say thank you to the people who have guided us to this point. Look around at the teachers, counselors, administrators, and coaches who have inspired us for the past years, pushed us to turn in the last minute assignments, delayed by procrastination, and taught us life lessons. Look at the parents in the stands who sit with pride and honor to see us in our caps and gowns. Proud of us. Let's not forget our friends for always allowing us to laugh, cry, or just vent through our struggles. Class of 2012, we need to embrace those opportunities that lie within our path. Remember, nothing is set in stone. You have the power to change your life. You have the power to change your future. Also, remember, impossible does not exist because no matter what endeavors we have to go through, we will always come out on top, accomplishing every aspiration we set out to achieve. Only as long as we remember to have determination to overcome any challenges, to have the courage to stand up and defy our fears, and to always dream big and aim for the stars. Remember, we are the future. Many ask if we are ready, but now we can truly say that we are. Class of 2012, we finally did it. <laughs> that being said, thank you all and welcome. Good evening, my name is Judith Hernandez and I proudly stand before you as a senior class president. I am here today to tell you about our past four years of high school. A few days ago, before senior checkout, I was relaxing at the park with some of my fellow classmates and then it hit me. We are graduating, high school is finally over. We are about to leave for summer vacation this year, but we will not be coming back to Bellflower in the fall. As I was writing my speech, I started to think about the past four years of high school. All the people I passed by in the hallways, the girl who sat next to me in government, the boys who bugged me in ninth grade, the friends I spent my lunch time with, these were the people we've seen grow up right before our eyes. Looking back to freshman year, we were the clueless little kids on campus, not knowing what to expect of high school. Graduation felt so far away at that time. That year was full of new things that we would experience. Remember sophomore year when we all tried to fit in with the upperclassmen? Then junior year came, you realized who your real friends were, the ones who you could always rely on no matter what the situation was. Finally, senior year came, and we all shared good times together, creating lasting friendships. The class of 2012 spent some of the most memorable days and nights together. We went to the homecoming dance, Six Flags, after prom party, and to our senior fun day at Venice Beach. Tonight, we are here at a pivotal moment in our lives as high school graduates transitioning to independent young adults. We will leave here with the knowledge, experience, and memories of how to face life in the real world. After this ceremony, I want the senior class to think about a few words a famous rapper once said. The truth is, we don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Life is a crazy ride and nothing is guaranteed. It's our time now. Tonight is our night. So let's make the best of it. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank all the parents, family members, and everyone else who made it possible for us to be here today. Now our time has come to say goodbye to the teachers, staff, and most importantly, the underclassmen of Bellflower High School. Congratulations, class of 2012. We did it. Thank you, Jasmine and Judith. I would like to now introduce our distinguished guest, the president of the Board of Education for the Bellflower Unified School District, Dr. Paul Helzer. <laughs> Vice President, Mrs. Laura Sanchez Ramirez. <laughs> Clerk, 
Mr. Donald McMacken. And members, Mr. Jerry Cleveland. And Mrs. Debbie Quadros. Representing the administration for the Bellflower Unified School District, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Brian Jacobs. I would like to now introduce our other guests. Representing the Bellflower High School Administration are Assistant Principal, Mrs. Arlene Whitney. <laughs> Assistant Principal, Mr. Michael Lundgren. <laughs> Assistant Principal, Ms. Marcia Burford. <laughs> our high school counselors, Mr. Paul Aleman. Mrs. Dana Kidd. And Mrs. Anna Fujimoto. It takes a special person to be a teacher. Our teachers with us this evening have played a prominent role in each of our graduates' education. Teachers, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. You may be seated. And announcing our graduates as they receive their diploma will be Mr. Paul Aleman and Mr. Linwood Thompson. Please stand. Thank you. A special thank you is extended to Mr. Omar Vidana, our high school band director, and to our student musicians, to their choral director, Ms. Carolyn Kelly, and her student singers. At this time, the Bellflower High School Ensemble will perform a melody of Goodbye Song and We Are Young.
us home tonight. Our moment has arrived, but we know we'll survive. There's always someone there to carry us home tonight. We are young, so let's set the world on fire. We can burn bright. Thank you, that was lovely. <laughs> to the Bellflower High School class of 2012, as I stand here in front of you for the last time, I want you to know that I've been both honored and appreciative that I have been your principal and may now address you in the full splendor that you deserve on this auspicious occasion. Many of the students in the class of 2012 started Bellflower Middle School as seventh graders, my first year as principal here. We have made this six-year journey together. For this reason, the class of 2012 holds a very dear and special place in my heart. And this ceremony tonight marks the occasion for both of us to celebrate our accomplishments and look forward to our future. I consider myself a member of the class of 2012. You, as graduates, you will leave Bellflower in different directions, seeking to pursue your college, military, or career endeavors. And I, too, will say farewell to Bellflower and move to the district office. Over the six-year period together, we have made significant accomplishments that we should rightfully be proud of. As students, you had a bell schedule to guide your school attendance and course schedules. So with a little help from my calculator that I took from the library, I have estimated that you have spent on average 383 minutes a day in class. Over the past six years, you have attended or should have attended about 1,100 school days at Bellflower. This adds up to a whopping 421,300 minutes spent working on mathematics, science, English, history, and your electives. That does not include the numerous hours you spent on homework, studying, and exams. Well, I too had a bell schedule. It began at 5 a.m. every morning and it went on well after the final bell into the evening, 225 days a year for six years. That added up to a mere 972,000 minutes. This accounts for a large amount of time. In the classroom, you demonstrated that you are an intelligent group willing to take on challenges. Of those of you who took advanced placement exams, you helped improve the school's passing rate. It has never been higher with more students achieving the top score of five. 49 of our graduates are being recognized as Golden State Merit Seal Diploma recipients. On college entrance exams, the Scholastic Aptitude Tests, SATs, measuring your college readiness in critical reading, math, and writing, you scored within or above the mean for college-bound students. On the California Standards Test that you took in grades 7 through 11, the school increased 85 scaled points from 664 to 749, growing an average of 14 points a year. Now you have to remember, the average secondary school only grows five points a year, and you grew 14 points a year. 
when you were 10th graders and took the California high school exit exam. 86% of you passed the math, and 83% of you, 83% of you passed the English on the first try. On subsequent attempts, all of you have passed, setting the bar for other classes to match. These academic achievements contributed to the California Department of Education awarding Bellflower a full term six-year accreditation by the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, showing that our school met the rigorous academic criteria of an effective secondary school. Amongst you are 67 seniors who have been accepted to such prestigious universities and colleges as UCLA, USC, UC Davis, UC San Diego, UC Irvine, UC Santa Barbara, and the California State University at Dominguez Hills, Long Beach, Fullerton, Riverside, Cal Poly Pomona, and Michigan State University. So many clubs and organizations and events were blessed by your participation and your leadership. The Newman Theater was enlivened by your dramatic ability in the performing arts. Likewise, your choral and band and jazz ensembles gave ample opportunity for you to share your love of music. On the athletic field, you show your natural athletic ability, competitive commitment, and the highest principles of and values of teamwork, sportsmanship, and good character. Several members of this class were named to all league teams in their sports, and many were scholar athletes. Concern for others in the community has been strongly evident in this class. You came together to give to charitable causes and learn the importance of helping those less fortunate. In September, you won't be coming for the first day of school at Bellflower High School, as you had done year after year after year. The majority of you is planning to continue your education and will be moving on to 20 different universities and colleges, while some of you have chosen to serve our country by joining the military. This is also very commendable, as I too was in the military. And others will be moving into careers or the workforce or specializing in some skill or talent of your own. What matters from this point on is that you use your education wisely and you will in turn achieve something in life that is very special to you. Discover your own talent and gifts, develop them over time, and achieve a greatness all your own. What matters in life is that you be someone special, not just do something special. Don't be just great at what you do, but great in who you are. Then and only then can you be those individuals who leave a legacy in the world. Your intelligence, your capacity to work hard, the education you have received and earned give you the unique status of being a true Bellflower Buccaneer. Now that you are departing on your own separate journeys, we will always share a common thread of history. You are all proud and grateful to call Bellflower High School your alma mater, and I am proud to have been your principal. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce our scholar students. The following seniors have earned academic distinction based on their cumulative grade point average. These students have taken the most intense and challenging academic courses offered at Bellflower High School and completing a minimum of 15 college preparatory courses known as the University of California and California State University A to G requirements and maintain a cumulative grade point average of 4.0. Straight A's.
and above. These students achieving highest academic honor based on a cumulative grade point average of 4.0 and above. Please stand as I call your name. Rachel Aras. <laughs> Hazel Ann Dulé Bernabe. Mara Cardenas. Charmi Fugado Dubongo. Catherine Valeria Gutierrez. Jocelyn Elizabeth Nari. Tracy Ungkongisoa Osaji. Matthew Scott Pearson. And Julie Shereng. Congratulations, you may be seated. Students achieving high academic honors based on a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 to 3.99 are as follows. Please stand as your name is called. Diana Estefanani Alvarez Acala. Alexandra Madonna Arambula. Rocio Anale Barragan. Ganjane Buri Chum. Megan Lee Clark, Markel Dante Colbert, Andrew Estrada, Anna Isabel Gonzalez, Eduardo Andres Gonzalez, Alexis Brianna Gutierrez, Marissa Yvonne Hill, Rian E. Logan, David Jesufasuk, Shael Ashna Koran, Janice Lozano, Daniel Omar Luque, Monique Martinez, Natalia Melissa Montavo, Mark Osama Nashed, Monica Navarro, Sarah Lee Malixi Ocampo, Aureli Vanessa Para. Luciani Justine Paza, Jessica Kitania, Maureen Naim Badia Soor, Paul Harish Castro Ungos, Victoria Luz Vargas, and Gerardo Zaragoza Jr. Congratulations. You may be seated. Those students achieving honors based on a cumulative grade point average of 3.0 to 3.49 are listed in your commencement program. Students, please stand to be recognized for your academic achievements at this time. Congratulations. You may be seated. The Golden State Mer SEAL Merit Diploma is an honors diploma intended to recognize high school graduates who have mastered the high school curriculum. To earn the Golden State Merit SEAL Diploma, students must have a scaled score of 370 or above on six qualifying examinations, including mathematics, English language arts, science, United States history, and two other subject areas on the standardized testing and reporting STAR programs, California Standard Test. The following students have received a Golden State Seal Merit Insignia affixed to their diploma and stated on their final transcript. Recognizing them as a Golden State Seal Merit Diploma recipient. Students, as I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Diana Estefanani Alvarez Acala, Melissa J. Ariano, Rachel Arias, Rocio Anale Barragan, Hazel Ann Dulé Bernabe, Jesus Brasino, Jennifer Rianne Campbell, Jed 
Ellen Iligan Canales, Mara Cardenas, Robert Cervantes, Gunjana Burry Chum, Jonathan Rosales Sifra, Markel Dante Colbert, Charmy Fugado Dubanco, Andrew Estrada, David Leonardo Garcia, Rafael Garcia, Brian Daniel Garcia Hernandez, Anna Isabel Gonzalez, Catherine Valeria Gutierrez, Andres Hernandez, Sal Hernandez, Marissa Yvonne Hill, Ryan L. Hitt, Jael Ashna Karan, Matthew Lewis Lindsay, Elazar Daniel Martinez, Carlos Daniel Messinas, Gabriela Miranda, Natalia Elisa Montavo, Deepesh Narion, Jocelyn Elizabeth Neri, Abel Nunez, Tony Marie Olson, Hector Emilio Ortega, Tracy Soa Osaji, Matthew Scott Pearson, Jessica Quintanilla, Iraiz Ramirez, Cindy Vanessa Robles Kiriron, Barnareth Richie Starr, Olivia Elizabeth Selmanson, Julie Schreng, Paul Harish Castro Angos, Jorge Antonio Valenzo, James Paul Vandermos, Sierra Nicole Young, Gerardo Saragoza Jr., and Fabiola Zuninga. Congratulations to all of you. You may take your seat. The title of valedictorian is given to the student in the graduating class with the highest ranking grade point average throughout high school. An honor demonstrating intelligence, hard work, perseverance, inspiration, and dedication. At this time, I am very pleased to introduce our valedictorian for the class of 2012, Rachel Arias. Let me tell you a little bit about Rachel. Rachel is extremely excited to receive this distinction for the class of 2012. Throughout her high school years, Rachel has distinguished herself in academics, athletics, and leadership. Rachel has brilliantly kept up with her academics to be ranked number one in her class with a total grade point average of 4.5. Rachel is most proud of taking 13 advanced placement and honors courses, including five advanced placement classes her senior year to include AP World History, AP English Language, 11, AP English Language Composition, 12, AP Spanish Language, AP United States Government, AP Music Theory, AP Chemistry, and AP Calculus AB. She received college credit for having passed her world history, English language, and Spanish language AP exams, and is awaiting the test results for the five AP courses she took in her senior grade year. When Rachel was a 10th grader, she took the high school exit exam, like all other 10th graders. She passed both the English language arts and mathematics test with a perfect score of 450 out of 450. On college entrance test, she scored 1,940 on the Scholastic Aptitude Test, the SATs. Now remember, the minimum score to get into Harvard University is 1,450. She got 1,940. On the SAT, 
a subjects test, she scored 600 on the Mathematics 2 test, measuring her knowledge of algebra, geometry, trigonometry, and statistics. Rachel has received many awards, including the Advanced Placement AP Scholar Award and the UCLA Alumni Scholars Club Award in recognition of her high achievement. She has received over $20,000 of scholarships and is expected to receive 13,000 in Cal grants. Not only has Rachel excelled academically, but she has been actively involved in a long list of extracurricular activities. She was on the school's varsity tennis team for three years, helping her team take second in the Suburban League and advance to the final. She was the president of the speech team, where she won trophies and has placed first, second, and third, a combined total of six times. She was the vice president of a history club and the California Scholarship Federation, where she donated her time to charities and tutoring. She was actively involved in the Leo's Club, a service organization, and the Roots and Shoots Club, an environmental science club. She was part of Project Apple, an after-school program promoting learning and enrichment, as well as served as a student representative representing the student body in the school's self-study report and the Western School and Colleges Association full-term six-year accreditation process. Rachel was accepted to and attend on a scholarship, the Foundation of Economic Education Seminar, two years in a row, and at St. Mary's Medical Center program, where she volunteered over 120 hours in the medical, surgical, and emergency room, and received a certificate of exemplary service. She also dedicates her time as a youth leader at her church. Rachel was accepted by UC San Diego, USC, UC Berkeley, UCLA, and was weightlifted for Stanford but has decided to attend UCLA in the fall. She will be majoring in business economics and live on campus with her best friend, our salutatorium. Now, here is Rachel. Wow, thank you, Mr. Perry. That was longer than my speech. Um, it would feel wrong to start off without th telling you guys how much we appreciate you. Um, friends, family, faculty, teachers, without all your time, effort, and money, this would never be as amazing as it is already. Um, I know I have a big crowd out there to support me, and I'd like to give you guys a good shout out. Yay! <laughs> um, you guys have been amazing role models and inspirations to me, and I'm so grateful you could be here to celebrate this with me. Um, my parents, my siblings their, and their families, my aunts, uncles, cousins, my friends, um, my best friend and boyfriend for like a million years now, um, all my teachers and educators, thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. And whoa, who is this beautiful crowd of people out here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's the class of 2012. Woo! <laughs> this is the best graduating class ever, and that is a fact. I'm glad you guys are here, and um, from the athletes, to the artsy people, to my rockers, to my nerds, I love you guys, <laughs> and everyone in between. Um, I'm so glad to see you guys. It's been an awesome year. Um, it was a leap year. Um, <laughs> the Olympics are coming up. A bunch of great movies came out, and they're still coming out. Um, somebody that I used to know like took over our radio stations. And the Kings won the Stanley Cup. Woo! <laughs> some of us have known each other for a long time, and some of us um, just met last week in the midst of all this social graduation nonsense. Um, but whether we know each other or not, we all share this common thread. Um, we walked down the same halls had the same teachers, we went to the same assemblies, and although Mr. Perry officially made it seem like I have no life, <laughs> we all dealt with the same high school drama sometimes, had great times with our friends, laughed until we cried, and cried until we laughed. And, okay, let's get real here. 
Um, we've had it ridiculously easy for the past for 18 years. Every single day, um, our biggest worry was probably what we're gonna wear to that next event, or the pimple on our nose, <laughs> or how we freaked out when that thing was due during that period. Our clothes were magically cleaned, and we could always ask mom and dad for money if we wanted it. This ceremony is one of our lives' biggest milestones. It is significant because we are about to become high school graduates. Yay! <laughs> we're adults now, and we're off into the real world on our own. Things are about to change drastically. And now, well, being on our own doesn't mean we can't rely on our friends and family to be there for us anymore. But it does mean that very soon, whether you're going off to college, joining the military, getting your own place, or getting a full-time job, we're going to have to be responsible for ourselves more than we've ever been before. And some of you may be anxious about that, or at least your parents will be. <laughs> but, but I'm here to remind you that there's no reason to worry. The best thing you can do for yourself is do what makes you happy and not what other people think you should do. Standing up here today, it, it means a lot to me. I've pretty much been waiting for this day to happen since I began high school. <laughs> yeah, I excelled academically, um, but just because I did my homework or took all these hard classes doesn't mean I always had a great time doing it. <laughs> um, do whatever you do to make your dreams come true. Happiness comes through hard work sacrifice and determination. That's what got me here, and that's what's taking me to college, and that's what's taking me to the kind of future I want. It's what makes me happy. But tonight's not about me. It's about you. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> Do what makes you happy. There are some people here that we're not gonna see a lot over the next few years, and some people that we will see a lot for the next few years. And it can be a rather emotional experience. You may be sad to realize that our high school life has come to an end. We're going to miss each other, whether we think we will or not. We had great times together. We're still young, like they sang earlier, and we have a lot of learning to do. But as your valedictorian, whatever kind of power that gives me, I'd like to use it all right now as I announce that this is the crowd that's going to revolutionize the world. You guys are going to do great things in this era of change, new ideas, and technology. But you'll only ever achieve it if you want it and accept it. And you can't say that these past few years have been the yes, best years of your life because your life, figuratively, not literally, um, has only just begun. And it's your job to prove yourselves to this world and achieve success, whatever that means to you. Okay, I want you to take a moment right now and look to your left and right. Look at the people around you, your friends and classmates. Take this moment in while you can. <laughs> Give someone a hug. <laughs> Remember all the good times and look how that one guy took to do his hair. And look how she, like, is all nice and pretty today. <laughs> Revel in this moment because it's almost over. Cherish it. This is the part where I'm supposed to give you some amazing quote from a distinguished person in history that eloquently wraps up my speech. And you'd probably forget in a matter of seconds. <laughs> Instead, why not end on a much more memorable quote like, may the force be with you. <laughs> or, or swag. Or how about to every other graduating class, including Mayfair, like my coach would say, get on my level, bro. <laughs> I'd say those fit equitably well. <laughs> I love you guys, and I wish you the best. Thank you, Rachel. Our next highest senior is ranked second in her graduating class. I am pleased to introduce our salutatorium, 
for the class of 2012, Hazel Bernarbi. Hazel has a cumulative grade point average of 4.46. Hazel was born in the Philippines and immigrated with her family to the United States in her eighth grade year. As a new student, she showed an unyielding drive and self-determination to excel in school. Beginning in her freshman year, she took college preparatory courses known as the University of California and California State University A to G requirements, completing a total of 15 honors classes and advanced placement courses throughout her high school years to include biology honors, English 9, and English 10 honors, world geography honors, chemistry honors, algebra 2 honors, math analysis honors, AP World History, AP Biology, AP English 11, and AP English 12, AP United States History, AP Government and Politics, AP Chemistry, and AP Calculus AB. Like all other students, Hazel had to take tests. On the high school exit exam, like the valedictorian, Hazel received a perfect score of 450. She passed every AP test she has taken, including receiving the highest score of a five on the AP biology exam, her favorite subject. On the scholastic aptitude test, she scored 2,060 out of 2,400. In recognition of her academic achievement, Hazel is a member of the California Scholarship Federation. This honor society recognizes academically accomplished students and works to foster a spirit of service within the school community. Besides her academics, she has maintained an active leadership role in school activities throughout clubs and teams, such as girls' tennis, an officer of the history club, vice president of the speech club, and the president of the California Scholarship Federation. She has been a part of the Mathematics Engineering Science Achievement MESA program for five consecutive years, winning gold and bronze medals in biomedical, engineering, and mathematics. Hazel is also a community volunteer. Starting at the age of 14, she volunteered at the Clifford Library, uh, Branzenick Library and continued to help others through Ernie Pyle's Apple program, and led and managed a free four-day-a-week after-school tutoring program for all middle and high school students in our school library. Hazel has been accepted to every university she applied. However, she is elated to be attending the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, this fall with her best friend, the valedictorian. She will be majoring in microbiology, immunology, and molecular genetics. She plans to pursue a career in medicine and build a future as a physician, a career that she has been dreaming of since she was a little girl. Hazel will receive a $15,000 scholarship from the UCLA Scholarship Recognition Award Program. Hazel is honored to have this title of salutatorium. I'd like to present to you our salutatorium, Hazel Bernarbi. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really nervous. <laughs> to the faculty, the family, friends, and guests, thank you for your presence, first of all. And of course, to the amazing class of 2012, congratulations. <laughs> Can you believe we're graduating? I, I still can't. I'm standing here in front of you guys wearing my cap and gown, literally like shaking in nervousness. And I still can't believe I'm here. It's a little bit funny because it's the same feeling I got five years ago back in 2008 when I first set foot in Bellflower High. I was 12. I'd only been living in the United States for a few months. I remember looking around and the whole thing was just so intimidating and unfamiliar and alien and confusing. On my first day, I was late to every single period because I didn't understand my schedule. I didn't know you had to switch classrooms after every period because I, <laughs> I don't know, I was new. And 
I think at one point I went to both middle and high school lunches. I wrote inside the books and on the test, and I missed a lot of classwork simply because the teachers were speaking too fast for me to understand. Not like I didn't know how to speak English, just I just didn't, I was just not entirely immersed in the language. <laughs> I remember having to repeat my sentences because of my heavy accent. Point is, I was entirely clueless for half the year. However, eventually, somehow, things got better. And I'm not even sure what I did, but I know I went to school every day I was supposed to. I got over my fear of the students, which in hindsight was pretty ridiculous. I made a handful of great friends and things got better. I couldn't believe it, but sometimes I was actually excited to go to school. It's crazy, right? Now, I'm definitely not a source of wisdom. I'm inexperienced, prone to mistakes, and frankly, still pretty immature. However, I have been taught a couple of things over the years. In our house in the Philippines, posted on the door of my dad's closet is a prose poem. As a child, I never quite understood it. And for years, I forgot everything about it except for the title, Desiderata, which means desired things in Latin. However, a few months ago, while we were having dinner, my dad recited the poem. He, he told us that he makes it a point to live by Max Ehrman's words, that's the author. I want to share them with you today. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. With all its shams, drudgery, and broken dreams, it is still a beautiful world. Now, with this slice of advice, I hope to see you, my fellow graduates, at our 20-year reunion, not necessarily wealthy or famous, although it, really, it would be pretty damn cool if we all rolled into the reunion in like a Porsche or a Benz. <laughs> I hope to see you years from now, happy and satisfied, grateful for what you have, because at the end of the day, that's what's most important. And speaking of gratitude, there are quite a few people I owe, to whom I owe this humbling honor. To the Bellflower High School faculty, you paved the path for all of us, but never held our hands through it. To all of you, the staff, the counselors, and especially our teachers, thank you for instilling in us diligence. To my fellow classmates and my friends, especially Saul, Rachel, Mara, Anna, Matthew, Carlos, and Diana, <laughs> I have no appropriate word to describe all of you, but I can illustrate how you changed my life. Without you, the last few years would have been torturous. I will forever treasure the shared laughter. And last, but most definitely not the least, my family. To my cousins, aunts, and uncles, I will always appreciate the support and the company. And to my mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother, and I'm sorry, I'm crying, and Mike, and now my beautiful little nephew, Elijah. You are the most wonderful, courageous, understanding, selfless, and admirable people. I can never ask for anything more. I feel so blessed knowing that I had and always will have you guys to support me and believe in whatever I set my heart out to do. To the wind beneath my wings, I love you more than anything. Thank you for everything. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now my friends, my fellow graduates, as we stand today upon the shoulders of giants, I only wish we could extend this moment forever. I will truly miss you. I love you guys. <laughs> However, I know you are all off to do great things. Again, congratulations to the class of 2012. I wish us all the best. Thank you so much. Good night. Well, thank you, Hazel. At this time, I'd like to introduce the superintendent of the school, Dr. Brian Jacob who will now present the class of 2012. Good evening. As superintendent of schools for the Bellflower Unified School District, it is a pleasure to stand before the wonderful Bellflower High School graduating class of 2012. I want to thank you graduates 
for making my first year as your superintendent and your last year as a student highly successful. Graduates, it is now my distinct privilege by the authority vested to me by the State of California and the Board of Trustees that I do hereby certify that the members of the senior class of Bellflower High School have completed the requirements for graduation as prescribed by the California Education Code and the policies of the Bellflower Unified School District. Dr. Paul Helzer, President of the Board of Education, would you please join me? Dr. Helzer, it is with great pride that I present to you, the members and the governing board members, I present to you the Bellflower High School Class of 2012. At this time, the members of our Board of Education will begin to present the diplomas to our graduates. Rachel Otters! <laughs> Hazel Bernabe. Mara Cadenas. Ocean Chum. Charmy Dubanco. Andrew Estrada. Catherine Gutierrez. Anna Isabel Gonzalez. Jocelyn Neri. Marissa Hill. Tracy Osaji. Mark Nashed. Matthew Pearson. Sarah Ocampo. Julie Strang. Areli Para. Alexandra Arambula. Diane Alvarez. Annalie Berrigan. Alexis Gutierrez. Megan Clark. Rayani Logan. Dante Colbert. Janice Lozano. Eduardo Gonzalez. Daniel Luque. David Jetsuhasup. Monique Martinez. Shael Karan. Monica Navarro. 
Natalia Montalvo. Luciane Passa. Jessica Quintanilla. Pa Ungos. Maureen Soror. Gerardo Zaragoza. Victoria Vargas. Tony Olsen. Whitney Berry. Karen Giselle Khan. Crystal Lumabin. Iliasar Martinez. Carlos Ortega. Jed Candlas. Yasulin Baristeros. Jesus Presenio. OJ Vancer. Gabriela Miranda. Steffi Monica Iguia. Yomali Bravo. Miranda Thompson. DeAndre Brown. Ashley Randall. Brian Contreras. Danielle Roberson. Ryan Hitt. Carmen Batres. Jennifer Ayala. Suti Sadares. Natalie Ibarra. Celeste Gordon. Joshua Cuevas. Hector Ortega. Javier Perez. Jennifer Campbell. Jorge Valenzo. Justine Miana. Giselle de la Cruz. Andres Hernandez. Tyler Marie Griffin. David Morales. Osni Garcia. Brenda Gutierrez. Corey Sitars. Janice Nunez. Elisa Monique Ponce. David Garcia. Chantel Perez. Christopher Ryan Chow. Jasmine Acevedo. Saul Hernandez. Carlos Macinez. Jasmine Donnelly Salazar. Abel Nunez. Salvador Ledesma. Amanda Turner. Brian Garcia Hernandez. Victor Zapeta. Connie Ojeda. Ariel Sanchez. Elizabeth Alejandre. Jasmine Fuentes. Janet Alvarado. Celine Martinez. Dina Shirley Alvarez. Anna Afu. Jasmine Alvarez. Christina Alvarez. 
Melissa Ariano, Jessica Alvarez. Jamari Armas, Miles Anderson. Anthony Arzu, Paul Ariano. Janet Avina, Elder Ariaga. Kaylee Balaguer, Joey Arvizu. Dijon Barnes, Ramon Avila, Tony Barrientos, Adrian Avina, Julian Bay, Gabriel Balliot, Maria Beltran, Albert Berrigan. Carlet Elizabeth Bowens, Sharon Barrios, Ernesto Calderon, Jasmine Beltran, Brian Martin Campos, Ashley Burrier, Carolina Carrillo, James Burr. Adan Castellanos, Ardisha Brown, Josh and Castillo, Marco Calvario, Claudia Casares, Jessica Campillo, Sergio Castro, Jose Cardenas. Roberto Cervantes, Jessica Casillas, Jonathan Cifra, Cecilia Castillo, Collins. Jasmine Collins, Jose Castro, Vincent Cortez, Ricardo Castro. Elizabeth Cristal, Edgar Cazares, Cesar Diaz, Dominic Chavez, Justin Edwards, Brittany Claxton, Karen Enciso, Alexander Corona. Brian Escobar, Victor Cortez, Felix Falcon, Sebastian Delgadillo, Joshua Flores, Liliana Dominguez, Darlene Franco, Ariana Enciso. Victor Fuentes. Serena Ikiwa. Crystal Monique Garcia. Daisy Estrada. Rafael Garcia. Sarah Figueroa. Vanessa Garcia. Mitzia Flores. Jennifer Cristina Garcia. Roberto Flores Fuentes. Amy Garcia Segovia. Catherine Mary Galin. Anthony Gomez. Edgardo Garcia Jr. Ignacio Gomez, Jasmine Garcia, Hugo Gonzalez, 
Vanessa Garcia. Zachary Zamora. Elizabeth Georgescu. Jasmine Gonzalez. Liliana Gomez. Stephanie Grant. Ralph Gonzalez. Ian Guevara. Ruby Garcia. Uciel Gutierrez. Alejandro Gonzalez. Justin Guzman. Anna Garci. Sabrina Herrera. Karin Gray Harris. Antoine Hilt. Victor Gutierrez. Erika Ibarra. Alan Guzman. Scotty Eribe. Kyle Jackson. Anthony Harold. Raymond Jaramillo. Joseph Johnson. Ariana Jones. Nelson Michelle Hicks. Denise. Michelle Denise King. Brent Hughes. Sylvester Williams. Ipka. Isaac Lee. Otis Iverson the third. Arturo Landeros. Brittany Jackson. Matthew Lewis Lindsay. Juan Jimenez. Destiny Lopez. Demonte Jamel. Brittany Lopez. Brandy Jones. Viviana Luna. Brianna Key. Joan Macias. Cherish LeCap. Jasmine Major. Stephanie Laura. Rebecca Marine. Celeste Levy. Daisy Martinez. Elena Loera. Leticia Martinez. Diana Lopez. Jose Mata. Jacqueline Lozano. Patrick McCallop. Veronica Luna. Rodney Walker. Michael McGee Jr. Charlene Hang Wang. Sierra Malili. Genevieve Medallo. Shannon Martin. Carlos Mengarejo. Natalie Martinez. Juan Carlos Juarez. Alejandro Mata. The 
Alessandro Mena. Marinata Malalo. Yeshua Mendez. Brittany McCoy. Samantha Mondragon. Vanessa Medina. Monica Monge. Wendy Mena. Andrew Morales. Kira Mina. Mark Morales. Carolina Mendez. Marie Carmen Moran. Joshua Mondragon. Sofia Cosuelo Moreno. Renee Montoya. Merlin Munoz. Fernando Morales. Kunal Nair. Ivan Moran. Nicholas Negro. Mario Munoz. Travis Newberry. Yeah. Melissa Murray. Juan Junior Nunez. Depeche Narayan. Benedicto Du. Jasmine Navarez. Giovanni Orozco. Jennifer Nieto. Alex Antonio Patterson. Jose, Jose Ochoa. Remy Pender. Kimberly Oriana. Edgar Pinto. Yolanda Ortiz. Julio Cesar Potillo. Victoria Parks. Genoveva Quinones. Siosi Judge Pele. Kevin Rochelle. Miguel Perez. Esteban Sanchez. David Ponce. Let's go. Let's go. Kevin Anthony Ramirez. Atom Prusha. Carlos Andres Renteria. Griselda Quirante. Giselle Reyes. Iris Ramirez. Jaime Rivera. Marquise Ray. Caleb White. Eduardo Reyes. Jacqueline Belmas. Adriano Jessica Rios Jessica Altamirano. Tierra Young. Cindy Robles. Danielle Williams. Jimmy Rodriguez Jr. Vanessa Rodkow. Mark Rodriguez. Daisy Rodriguez. Jeanette Rojas. Jasmine Robinson. Ulises Rosales. Angel Rodriguez.
Christian Rubio. Abraham Romero. Jason Salesulo. Bashoy Saad. Julia Citala. Alessandra Salinas. Veronica Sanchez. Marisol Sanchez. Mary Lou Sanchez. Roberto Sanchez Jr. Janet Sanchez. Rudy Sanchez. La Tijera Wilson. Arvaro Sandoval Badales. Alberto Quintana. Desmond Smith. Pavlia Suriga. Olivia Salmonson. Vanera Sar. Antonasia Smith. Kevin Smith. Magali Solis. Michelle Smith Herndon. Josue Zamudio. John David Solorio. Natalie Sorizano. Karen Starkey. Nakia Starnes. Darian Sykes. Dimple Suri. Jasmine Thomas. Andrew Tapia. Juan Antonio Torres. Erica Thompson. Eric Stewart. Rosa Torres Estorga. Mark Anthony Towns Jr. Valeria Trinidad. Laura Isabel Urbina. Jessica Uribe. Andres Madrigal. Roberto Vaca Madrigal. Javier Valencia. James Vandemost. Luis Vega. Rebecca Velasco. Diana Villa Gomez. Jesus Vital. Lorenzo Tatarain. Janae Walker. Sean Gabriel Pires. Rachel Watson. Judith Hernandez. Crystal Williams. Alicia Zavala.
Jasmine Camacho. Graduating class of 2012, as my final act as your superintendent, I'd like to ask you to now please stand and join me in a time-honored graduation tradition to signify your status as a graduate. It is because of your day-to-day -day efforts and your desire to want to achieve that you have met the standard of excellence, nothing less. You may now move your tassel to the left side to indicate you are a graduate of Bellflower High School. Congratulations, and may God bless you in your new ventures. Thank you. The ensemble singers will now lead us in the alma mater. that our parents and guests please remain in your seats until all the graduates have been dismissed. You may meet your graduates in front of the school gymnasium located in the center of the campus. This now concludes the Bellflower High School Class of 2012 Commencement Ceremony.
Thank you.